St. Michael's is an historic fishing village turned resort on Maryland's eastern shore. Quaint tree-lined streets and old homes and boutiques have made it a popular weekend getaway. Talbot County 911. In the early morning hours of February 15, 1998, Saint an emergency Michael's dispatcher Saint received a frantic call from a clerk at a local resort. Is there anybody in the room? One of the rooms was on fire, and he believed a guest was trapped inside. East and I-36 responded to St. Michael's Resort, fire, at least one subject in the room. Within minutes, rescue workers from the Talbot County Fire Department and officers from the Maryland State Police arrived at the location. The blaze, confined to a single room, was quickly brought under control. Though the hotel clerks had managed to pull the guest from the room, the victim, 35-year-old Stephen Rico, was pronounced dead at the scene. His face had been burned beyond recognition. Police learned that shortly before 1.30 a.m., the victim's wife rushed into the hotel lobby to report that her room was on fire. Clerks called 911 and then rushed to the room. They found the victim lying in bed and quickly pulled him out. But it was too late. The victim's wife, 33 year old Kim Rico, said she and her husband Steve were spending Valentine's weekend together. Give me a little bit here. Earlier that evening, she and Steve had dinner with friends at the hotel's dinner theater. Kim said Steve had been drinking heavily and had taken antidepressants and cold medication. Kim said that Steve became sloppy drunk. She and her husband returned to their room a few hours later. Steve continued to drink. Then he began pressuring her for sex. You're drunk and I'm not interested. When Kim refused, he became angry. To avoid a fight, she grabbed her things and left to go for a drive. When she returned a few hours later, she made her way into the room and was immediately overcome by smoke. She couldn't believe her husband of 10 years was gone. Investigators searched for answers to explain the deadly blaze. Maryland Deputy State Fire Marshal Mike Mulligan began by looking for the fire's origin. The point of origin is key in determining the uh, cause of a fire and determining whether it was accidental or purposely set. And what you do is you begin at the, the area of least fire damage and you progress into the most fire damage. And the idea is that the spot where you have the most fire damage, the fire has been burning the longest. On the nightstand next to the bed, investigators found their first clue, a partially melted soft drink bottle. The heat softened the plastic on the side that faced the uh, fire while it was still cold on the other side, and the plastic began to melt and pointed the neck of the bottle toward the point of origin. The fire had apparently started near the pillow where Stephen Rico's head would have been. Burn patterns showed its progress across the bed and down to the charred carpet. Then, investigators uncovered a possible cause of the fire. On the bedside table, they found an open package of cigars. One was missing.
for fire marshals, the reason behind the blaze seemed tragically clear. 